Just a word of warning, this video is going to be boring, it's full of facts and figures, but I'm going to try and cover the question if buying an electric car is actually worth it financially. So, is buying an electric car worth it financially? The answer is yes and no. It depends on a few things. Initial purchase cost, depreciation, servicing, parts, fuel, this all adds to the total equation and it varies from country to country. This stuff you all know, this is old news. So can you actually buy an electric car and have it pay itself off? And how long does it take? And the simple answer is yes. Yes, recouping your costs on an electric car depends on its initial purchase price and of course the price of fuel. For example, if you buy a new Tesla Model 3 today in say, Alabama, the cheapest version of a Tesla Model 3 currently available is going to set you back around about 55,000 US dollars. And Alabama offers no tax credits for individuals buying electric vehicles. Also keep in mind the promised lower spec 35,000 US dollar Model 3 is still not expected for many months to come. Now the average American family car costs around about 10 cents per mile to operate in gas costs alone, equaling around about $1,500 per year. In fact, it's even cheaper in Alabama because that state has the USA's cheapest gas prices, currently at around $2.25 per gallon, around about 60 US cents per liter. This means that if you drive 15,000 miles a year, the average family car is going to cost you around 1500 US dollars annually. It's not really very much, it's not a good case for electric cars in that case. Now the Model 3, it's fast and it's stylish and it's much more efficient than even the, the best gas car using around about 24 kilowatt hours per, of electricity per 100 miles or 15 kilowatt hours per 100 k's and electricity in Alabama it's not much, it's around about 13 US cents per, uh, per kilowatt hour, which means that if you're driving your Model 3 for the same 15,000 miles per year, it's going to cost you around about 460 US dollars per year. That's really, I mean, it makes a Model 3 look about 70% cheaper per mile than the average US family car, like uh, the newest Toyota Camry, for example. That's, that's great news, this is all great stuff, but, and, there, and you knew there was a but coming, the Model 3 costs 61% more than the Toyota Camry brand new. If you're still with me at this point, you're doing well, you've had enough coffee today, but with Alabama, electricity prices and gas prices as an example, put simply, it's going to take you around about 20 years before you've saved enough in us spent, unspent gas money before you even break even with the Camry purchase price. Don't get me wrong, I would prefer the Tesla Model 3. Anyone, anyone with eyes and a sense of style and a pulse would make the same decision. But for an individual to buy a Model 3 purely to save money in most US states would not be smart. It'd be like investing in a timeshare property, which belongs to Bernie Madoff on the island of Kiribati. Now all that is the bad news, but there is good news. You can recoup your costs in an electric car completely. The payback time on an electric car is all about purchase cost versus running cost. And the more you drive it, the faster the payback. And I'm about to prove that. I'm about to do it myself because yes, this car, the Kiwi EV, is about to cross over the threshold and pay itself off completely, purely by driving it. Just over three years ago, I bought this little electric car for the great price of 7,000 US dollars, uh, 7,000 euros, sorry. And I've now driven it just over 40,000 kilometers, or around 25,000 miles, which is admittedly not very much compared to the USA. Now, gas prices in Europe are higher than the USA. Here in Slovakia, gas costs around about 1 euro 43 euro cent dollars, euros per liter. That's about six US dollars, 6.27 per gallon. And electricity here costs 12 euro cents per unit. Now, this means that first of all, you'd have to be a little bit crazy not to drive an electric car here in Europe. But most importantly, the payback time for my car was very fast. The average gas car costs around about two and a half thousand euro a year for everything from servicing to fuel to repairs 
to insurance, devaluation, and in three years operating costs for my previous car would have averaged around about 7,500, 7,600 uh, euro. Now with this car in three years of ownership, I've spent just a little over 1,600 euro. That's not per year, that's for the whole 38 months I've had it of daily driving. And this has included everything from insurance to electricity, servicing, and driving to Ukraine, Austria, and all across this country, the Slovak Republic, you name it. This works out to around about 80% cheaper than a typical gas-powered car. It's literally, this car is cheaper literally than taking the bus. The trick for fast payback is simple. Buy a used electric car. Driving a lot, driving past all those gas stations helps to speed up the payback process. But the biggest step is getting behind the wheel today. As for the Kiwi EV, it has served me brilliantly. I have had incredible adventures in this car, driving across Slovakia, driving through Austria, driving to Ukraine. Oh, you've been there with me, you've seen the adventures. The only question is what to do next when this car has paid itself off. Do I keep on driving it, push the envelope, or do I try a different model? The options are there, I just have to decide which car I would like next. Obviously, I'm a regular wage slave, so a new electric car is out of the question, like it is for most normal human beings. But there are a lot of options. The second-hand electric market is getting pretty full now. There's a lot of choices. Uh, Renault Zoe, maybe. Maybe a, a new Nissan Leaf. Maybe I can hunt around and find myself something a little more obscure. You have to watch this space, time will tell, but I know that there is a lot more to explore and for that I'm going to need a longer range electric car. So until that happens, watch this space. The future is full of possibilities and what I choose next might surprise you. So get out there, get an electric car, the sooner you buy one, the sooner it'll pay itself off. See you soon. See you in the next Kiwi EV adventure, whatever that might be. Oh, bloody hell. God, that was a boring video.